Hey guys doing? My name is Keith Jensen and I am a creative director for a healthcare company. And so that means that I basically do advertising. I'm in charge of a team of people, both you know, all graphic designers, people who actually write the words, we call them copywriters. And um, basically in charge of a team of those people that will create advertisements for a company. And um, we've done it for advertising agencies before. You know, I've worked for a couple different places. But the gist is that we will create anything from TV commercials uh, to print advertisements, billboards, uh, the ads that you see on the sides of buses, and all that kind of good stuff. And about a year ago, I started uh, wanting to get into a hobby. And a friend of mine who knew that I used to sketch when I was younger, back in class, I used to always doodle on the paper, paper and stuff, you know, using Sharpies and everything. And um, my friend knew this, and so what he asked me to do is he had a jet ski, and he actually asked me to paint the entire jet ski. So he said, you know, is there any way I could bring this jet ski up to you? He lived a couple hours away. Can I bring it to you? And it's all white. Any chance you can just take, you know, a Sharpie or something and just paint the whole side of it like a like graffiti kind of look, like a big doodle. So I looked into it and I found these pens that were actually leaked paint instead of, they're just like a Sharpie, but they leak paint instead of ink. And I said, yeah, let's give it a shot. So he drove it up, and um, I actually, here's a picture of it, I, I took the entire jet ski, it took about eight and a half hours or so, and uh, we just painted did the whole thing, you know, front to back. And after that, I started to kind of get into it. You know, I never really was into painting before, but it, that kind of sparked my interest. And I said, okay, well, I wonder what else I could do if I could do this. So I started doing, like, faces. You know, maybe there's a way that I could do, you know, a face of somebody with just this, this kind of black ink, you know, or paint, and maybe, like, another color. So I started trying to do faces a little bit and worked out. And I started to realize that, okay, you know, some of this stuff I can actually pull off. I, didn't ever, I always did art in the sense of graphic design and all that, but never on canvas with paint. And after doing it, people started asking to buy it. And so then I'm in a position. I said, OK, well, I have a normal job. I don't want to make art my job because I love my job. And you know, I, I really enjoy what I do. So I don't want to take sidetrack and have painting become a priority for me and make it work. And the other thing I ran into is, how do you charge friends? You know, what do you do? Do you, when, when someone asks you to, to, you know, can I buy your work? It's a friend of yours. So you don't want to say, you know, you know they work hard for their money. You don't want to say, yeah, $300. You know, even though, yes, I took the time out of my day to paint that, I did it because I wanted to. I didn't be, do it because someone was paying me to or because someone asked me to because I wanted to see if I could paint something. So if I wanted to see if I could paint a Statue of Liberty, you know, then I would try it. If I just wanted to see if I could paint, you know, Little Wayne, then I would do it. So I was just doing it for fun, and when people started to ask me to pay for them, if they could buy them, I wasn't really getting that same feeling like it was fun anymore. It started to feel like work, because then people started asking, oh, can you paint me and my girlfriend? Can you paint me and my dog? You know, oh, my mom, you know, wants a painting of, of me for her room. Like, I don't want to do that. That's not fun. I want to paint stuff that I want to paint. Once I start taking money to paint other people and what they want, then I'm kind of just, it becomes work. It's no longer fun. So one day I had an idea, and I said, how can I continue to paint, continue to keep it fun, have people get them, but not just you know, hand things over, not feel like I'm just doing it at the where anyone can request something and I just give it to them. So I came up with an idea. What if I just left it on the street? What if every time I did a painting, I just walked outside, set it down in the street, and left it? And I started thinking more, okay, well, would anyone take it? I don't know. What if it had a sign on it? The sign I decided to make and put on there says, free art. If having this art will make your day better, then it's yours. And that's one of the main reasons I wanted to talk to you today is not because you know, this idea is anything revolutionary. I'm sure a lot of people have had a very similar idea of giving their paintings away instead of selling them, right? Not a big deal, not anything profound. But what I think that the, the, I want to convey to you guys is that when you do something nice for someone, when you decide that you're going to do a good deed, when you decide that you want to you know, try to make someone's day better, that multiplies exponentially. I'm sure everybody has had a conversation, you know, talked to someone one day that was just super cheery, really excited, happy to be alive. It rubs off on you, doesn't it? If you're having a crappy day, if things aren't going so well, and you talk to someone who is really just excited and happy, and you're, it affects you. 
And think about how many people you talk to on the course of a day. I mean, you could talk to 100 people a day. You guys are running around school. You got tons of friends. You got tons of people you're interacting with, teachers, other students. You leave, you go home, you see your parents, you see other friends around the neighborhood. You're talking to a lot of people per day. If dropping one piece of art off and st someone stumbling upon it and going, oh my god, this is, I, I, I want this, they take it home, they put it up, that could make their day a lot better. And if I make their day a lot better, better that could make everybody they talk to that day a lot better. They, I, could make, I could spread happiness exponentially through doing one nice thing for one person. So why not do it? I have a job. I don't need the money. More money would be great. I'd love to have more money. But I don't need it. You don't need the extra $300, the extra $400 to be happy. That's not going to change my life to be happy. This makes me happy. It's fun to do. Just today, um, earlier today, I dropped off a Beatles painting. And what I decided to start doing is instead of just leaving it out on the street for a random person to find, which I, I, anyone can find them, I decided to start a Twitter account. And the Twitter account is, uh, it's named Paint Pen Art, like a, like a pen, like a pen, but a paint pen, Paint Pen Art. And the people that follow me on there get the hints of where things are going to be. I'll tweet out a picture and I'll say, hey, this is going to be free art, you know, in the next couple days. And then I'll say, yep, oh, it's tomorrow, it's going to be out there. And then I'll start tweeting where it's going to be. So today, I, uh, I knew that there was, I did a, a painting of the Beatles. And I knew that there was a lot of interest in this one. I knew there was going to be a few people, at least a few people out there looking for it. So rather than tweet the exact location and have everyone bum rush the same spot, what I decided to do was have everybody meet at a spot about, I don't know, 200 yards from where I was going to put it. So up here you can see, this is a, a video uh, that I had uh, one of my graphic designers, this is near my work, I had them shoot this. And this is a, a video of people kind of waiting for the tweet of where, is it, where it's going to be. So they're standing out there and then I send out the tweet and boom, they're off to the races. So uh, then they start taking off and what I basically said was, this painting is near a dumpster it, at one of the buildings surrounding where they were. And there was about two or three buildings. So they all took off to different places. Most people on foot. And uh, the smart person <laughs> actually jumped in their van and drove around and found it, I would say, in less than a minute. Maybe a minute, minute and a half later. And uh, here he is picking it up. So, you know, we, uh, it's something that I know he was excited about because he was tweeting about it earlier. He was, you know, a lot of people like wanted to get it. So it's one of those things that it just, I feel good about. I feel better about doing that than charging that person a couple hundred dollars for this painting. I've dropped off about 25 so far. And uh, each one, like I said, I tweet out the location. I'm actually going to be dropping one at your school or around your school uh, within the next month. So if you guys are interested in some free art and you want to grab one or just check out what it is, follow Paint Pen Art on Twitter and uh, you can grab one right by your school. So again, I just want to reiterate how important it is, I think, to when you're dreaming big and you're going out and doing it, to think about giving back as well. You know, don't always think about money when you're considering your ideas. If you can afford to do something without, you know, and, and do it, make an idea come to fruition without having to charge people and it makes their day better and you can afford doing that, then I suggest doing it because it makes you feel really good. Okay? Thank you everybody for listening to me and uh, you feel free to always email me, ask me any questions, paintpenart at gmail.com and hope you find the painting and leave by your school. Thanks.